don't stop being a beach boy for your whole life. Once once this whole thing starts, it's like, a, and this is like the the kind of the top of the wave. You know, we're just getting on the top of that to take that baby, to, you know, to shoot the you know the, the curl. So it's really nice to be here. Well, uh, it's never too late to write a great song. I don't care what part of your career you're in. Don't don't give up. Finish your songs, as Brian Wilson would say. <laughs> it's just, I say, yeah, but Brian, you had to start the darn thing in the first place. So, but Brian, he was a great songwriter, so that was easy for him to say. But keep 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 improving your craft. It doesn't matter how old you you are. After decades and decades, we still have, I think, some of the finest songwriting ahead of us. It's a great thrill, a great honor, and it's a blessing to be able to have somebody like Frank Marshall, which there are not many people like him, but he's a fantastic filmmaker, and he, he, he really brought out, I think, the best of everyone and everything. I mean, the ups and downs, ins and outs, and whatever, but, but it, it, the documentary really, truly captures the essence and the spirit of the group, and most importantly, the music that we created together, which is literally good vibrations and fun, fun, fun around the world, which is so needed now more than ever. The singing together and blending and harmonizing, it, it, uh, it uplifts the spirit, and, and all the bad vibes go out the window. So I, I think the, the Beach Boys were known for good vibrations, the song. But what we do every, every night in concert is try to communicate the good vibrations to everyone. Beach Boy music goes barreling right into your heart. And, you, and that's why at the concerts you'll see five-year-olds and 90-year-olds. It doesn't matter. The music is ageless and timeless. They were just, you know, three brothers, a cousin and a friend who just happened to sing together and the heavens opened up. And it's, 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 un, it's almost hard to describe when they all sing. I've been in those rooms when they're, you know, blah, blah, blowing around, blah, 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 and then, okay, let's go. Blah, they and literally angels come down. It's, it's, it's magical. <laughs> and I'm just so excited for the world to see what I see in them, the love, the, the fellowship, the brotherhood, um, and celebrate Mike and Brian, two of the great songwriters of our generation. Well, it's fantastic to see this and be a part of it, and to see uh, the guys. I haven't seen some of the guys for, God, 30, 40 years. I know Al, I've seen Brian, uh, Al, but some of the others I haven't. So this is fantastic. Now, I'm a Johnny come semi lately. I joined 65. So I uh, can't believe that there's a movie about the band, and I've seen it, and it's really good. And I'm in it a little bit, but you know. I think there's brilliance in the simplicity of the lyrics, and there's brilliance in Brian being so complicated, but no one figured it out. And, and it's kind of, kind of gentle and soft, but it's really complicated to, to play. I'd like them to learn that they should pass this on to their grandchildren. Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, the Beach Boys have been my whole life, obviously since I was like 10 or 12, living across the street from the Wilsons. And um, we never thought it would come to this. This is great. It's unbelievable. And I'm so thankful to have been involved uh, with the great band that, that the Beach Boys turned out to be. And uh, I mean, making millions of people happy. Well, it started out with Brian's magical vocal arrangements to Carl and I's garage guitar, right? Grunge, and Brian's beautiful vocal harmonies. No one has heard anything like that until then. And plus, the, the positive lyrics. Mike Love with his, you know, beautiful renditions of, you know, car song, girl songs, and, and Brian's brilliant music. Uh, what a great team. And um, people just caught on to it because it was different. So it's just, to me, this is surreal. It's, you know, um, can't believe I'm here. Well, the thing that really touches me when we play live is to see the children. We're, they're mouthing the. They know the words to "Help Me, Rhonda," and the old people in the aisle dancing, multi generational. Um, it's just a phenomenon. 
Well, I grew up in a musical family in Newport Beach, which is about 20 miles south of Hawthorne, where the Beach Boys grew up. And uh, we're about the same age. They're a little older than me. But we all had the same passions in those days, and we all wanted to be in a band. And uh, so uh, the band I was in was all instrumental surf music. Dick Dale and the Deltones, the Ventures. We did the Surfer Stomp at the Rendezvous Ballroom. And meanwhile, there were these guys up at Hawthorne, and they were putting lyrics and harmonies to surf music. And I wanted to find out how that came about and why their band worked and mine didn't. Well, I'm excited for people to see how this all came together and, and what incredible musicality that this group had and what made them different from everybody else. This is music we all know. It's sort of soundtrack of our lives, young and old. And I think that people are getting introduced to Beach Boys movies. They don't even know it. And it's, it's music that stood the test of time. Um, and it's a wonderful sort of family gathering, family collaboration, blend of all of these different people. And we're going to tell each individual story that then together, the sum of the parts creates this amazing sound of the Beach Boys. This is a dream come true. I, I'm a California girl, California native, um, so I am uh, the only, the person who could tell the story. My, you know, I surfed. I was at the beach. I, you know, this is this is our this is our story, California story, and it's a family story. And to be here at this place, this iconic venue, with this iconic band, it is. I mean, it gives me goosebumps. You know, Brian Wilson was the first to make this, take the wall of sound and make it his own. The first to bring orchestration in, the first to bring these harmonies and the way he harmonized with the, the way he had all of his brothers harmonize. And the lyrics that Mike Love wrote for some of these songs is just absolutely magic. And it stays with you. I mean, Warmth of the Sun, is a beautiful song that he wrote in his 20s. And it is just, it's, it's as good as it was then and as is it to, today and 100 years time. Yeah, well music is a very important part of California's culture. It's a global language, does not need to be translated. It transcends <laughs> lifestyles and generations particularly the Beach Boys music. Everybody, young and old, my 15-year-old daughter loves the Beach Boys. Well, we're incredibly excited about this film. This release of this film worldwide is going to transport California's culture around the world through the Beach Boys music. It's completely surreal. Uh, I mean, I grew up in Orange County uh, in Newport Beach, surfed my whole life, listened to the Beach Boys my whole life, had no idea this was in my future. Uh, so when this, when we started this project a couple years ago, it was already a dream. and to get it to this place and know that the Beach Boys love it and then hopefully the fans are going to love it has uh, it's been amazing. I think that, that one of the major things is that this tells the whole story with all the different members together and I think culminating at Paradise Cove and that reunion. So this is about reunion um, and I think that's a really cathartic and important experience for the Beach Boys uh, in this film. So that's something I'd say that is new for fans, is to kind of experience it all together, all the pieces. I mean, it's, it's America's band, you know, it's the Beach Boys. And uh, it's really exciting, even more so to be a part of it in the sense that we've got to be a song on the original motion picture soundtrack, you know, with Baby Boo Bathing Suit. Um, it's just an exciting part of, it feels like we're a part of history in a way, you know, this is like a, They've, they've had a legacy of, of, uh, of hits and, and uh, a tremendous career, and now it's all coming to life. I just really hope that, you know, through the song and, you know, uh, that, that people connect further into the Beach Boys story and further into their music, which has made me feel so much. Tonight is a special night because it's at this Hollywood Chinese theater at the iconic space of the uh, very important movie theater for me as a filmmaker, but also collaborating with Frank Marshall on this Beach Boys doc. It's the perfect launch 
for this band, a band that has history. And, it's, and like this theater, it's really important that this stuff is in our DNA. It's in our history. So I love that the idea that the screen is going to be alive with the music of the Beach Boys at this theater. For me as a filmmaker, you dream about these moments. So it's a great honor to be here and be a collaborator on the team. There. I mean, for me as a filmmaker, what this means is that I got to tap into a story that was rich, that was not told, a story of a band that um, had many details that were not explored. And collaborating with Frank on this, we got to go into the music deep, but also to the idea of harmony and family and, and the power of their music. I hope fans walk away with a better understanding of their narrative of the Beach Boys, a deeper understanding of the music, and that overall feeling of hope and, and the empowerment that their pop symphonies created. And that it was a very complex story that reached many generations and how relevant this music is right now in this moment. And that's timeless and it's needed. And I just hope that um, it's an enjoyable celebration like the Beach Boys themselves. Well, I mean, it's such an honor to be here, and I'm very, like, proud of my legacy and my family, so I wouldn't miss it for the world, you know? I mean, it's just, it's a lot of fun, and I'm so excited to see the documentary, you know? I want to see what it's all about. They're a family, and that's what makes them so strong as a unit, because they, their voices blended together, and if it wasn't for being family, I don't know if it would have been the same. So that, it's very important to us, and we're all very close.